So breaking news has just emerged that Rangers could be signing Cedric Kripre from West Bromwich Albion. But before we get into that, please do smash the like button and do subscribe. It does honestly really help. But where do I start? I thought this would be a perfect video to make because it's come out today that Steve Bruce has said that Cedric Kipre is surplus to requirements at West Bromwich Albion and could be available for a small fee of just around a million pounds. And Rangers have been long admirers of Cedric Kipre from his time when he was at Motherwell. But let's go back to it. So he was released from Leicester a while back and then went to Motherwell and really, really impress people there and Rangers tried to get him but Wigan beat him to it and then Wigan then sold him to West Bromwich Albion for around about 950,000 and now it didn't really work out at West Brom. I'm a West Bromwich Albion fan so I can kind of talk from first hand experience what Cedric Kipre and what he's like, what you should expect from him if Rangers to sign him. He's six foot four, he's big, he's fast, he's probably, the only thing I think, the one thing I always question with Cedric Kipre is He's quite an unorthodox defender. He has he makes occasional couple of rash decisions in every single game. I like to say he's got a clangor in him. You don't you never trust him as a centre back. You can see he's good on the ball. You can see he's got all the attributes that he should have, but he has that lapse of judgment and concentration in every single game. And if you go back straight back to his uh, red card in the cup against Brighton, there's always one moment in every game where he makes a mistake. And the thing is, when he was at West Brom. West Brom this season haven't been great and they've conceded a lot of chances. So I do think that's one thing that may uh, have affected him. The fact that it's relentless pressure constantly on him. Whereas if you went to a club like Rangers, obviously everything would be played in front of him. Whereas when he was playing at West and uh, with a high line, whereas at West Brom, they were constant, this season we were constantly getting pounded and pounded and pounded. So then he was susceptible and he was vulnerable constantly because we, we were just so disjointed and it didn't really work out. So I do think the system hasn't helped him at West Brom this season. But I do think there's a very, very good player in there because there's a reason why West Brom signed him. And it was a season where they were trying to get up, when we were trying to get up to the Premier League. It was a big time for West Brom under Billich. It didn't really work out but could, because he hasn't really suited the systems we played. We played at three at the back and he doesn't really suit that. He's suited to a four at the back. He's six foot four. As I said, he's very, very strong. He is good on the ball. He is stronger right footed, but he is, can use both feet. And he can distribute quite well. And the one thing he does extremely well is he likes to drive with the ball. And like Harry Maguire does for England, he has those kind of mazy runs where he used to drive with the ball randomly and no one would ever expect it, but he would run down those channels. And, and he would bomb on forward, and he's a very, very good player. And I do think he'd be a great addition to Rangers. I don't think he would be in the starting eleven. I don't think he's on um, uh, Goldson's level, because I can see people saying it's Goldson 2.0 across Twitter and other reports, but I, I personally don't think he's on that level. I do think he's a good centre-back and he's a good player as a squad player, but I don't think you'd expect him to break into that first team and really set the world to light. But for a million pounds, he's a very, very good signing. A player that played for Ivory Coast under-23s, he, he can and he's played in the Championship, uh, for many, many seasons now. So you can tell he's definitely a very, very good player. But is he is he, is he ready to make that step up? Because it is a big jump. I know a lot of people slam the Scottish League and say it's simply not good enough. But it's not just the Scottish League. The Scottish League is difficult as it is. But he's not only got to do that. He's then got to go to a high-pressure team and play in the Europa League. And especially after last season, obviously, Rangers get into the final. So it's a big, big jump for Kipre. Do I think he can do it? I personally do think he can. I think he's been unlucky uh, with management changes because... He's never really been given a chance. And as soon as he did start to get a chance under Valerian Ismail, Valerian Ismail was sacked. So he's never really been given a full-on chance to, to get a bit of momentum in the side. So I do think he'd be a good sign. And it's a shame to see him go from the album because that's a player I do quite like. But I do think Rangers, he would be a great addition for only a million pounds. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Does this mean that Bassi is going? You will have to let me know in the comment section below. Are you happening with Kipre? As a signing for around £1 million, let me know. And if you haven't already, please do smash the like button and do subscribe. It honestly helps more than you can imagine. But yeah, thank you for watching. Book out some over and out. Thank you. Goodbye.